me now and let's take a peek in an old story that you thought you already knew. But I'm sure there are some things you'll be surprised to hear. It may change some things for you like who you are celebrating this Christmas and who rules and reigns in your life. It's Bethlehem, 2,000 years ago, and a child had been born. His name is Jesus. Most people were thrilled to hear the news, but some weren't so thrilled. One of them was a king. His name was Herod. Step back in time, 2,000 years. You'll be surprised by what you hear. Herod is reigning, and he is complaining. I am Herod the ruler, need I say any more? I'm the king, a fact you can't ignore. The nerve of these wise men who stand here in my court and ask me where that baby would be born. They followed a star on their journey. They thought a star would lead to their king. Ha ha, how dare they stand in my presence. Someone go find them for me! Wise men, they'll be trembling with fear. I'm the king. He I thought I made that clear. But Herod, poor Herod, was raging that for sure. His royal highness was so insecure. I told them to return to me. And that was my word, my decree. I told them I wanted to worship. But we know he's lying through his teeth. But they're acting suspiciously. Bring them to me. Shulam Watson is my name. I'm from, from the FBI. One day Herod summoned me. Sherlock, find those guys. Those wise men don't seem very wise to disobey a king. I, for one, will do my best to please his majesty. Bring them to me. I don't trust men who travel in threes. Bring them to me. Perhaps I was put on the earth for such a time as this. I could become a CEO of Herod's offices. I'll go get those wise men, bring them to his majesty. I'll be Herod's right hand man, just you wait and see. Bring them to me. When I'm on it, I'll solve this case. Here it I'll find them. No time to waste. There's really no reason. Your majesty listen. The wise men will change his story. Unless the baby can actually be the king of kings. Bring them to me. you King Herod was mad. But not mad at me. Herod called me to get to the bottom of this mystery and find some facts about this baby and see why those wise men didn't come back like he ordered them to do. See, I'm Sherlock Watson, Chief Investigator for the FBI. That's from Bethlehem <laughs> Investigations. 
Yes, Judea's finest. Never lost a case, and I don't plan to lose this one. So, being the investigator I was trained to be, I went and did two very obvious <laughs> things. I went and got a donut, and then I headed straight over to the Bethlehem Public Library. Still a little snooping around. She went off to the library to research the baby's ancestry. Look at ecology. If I can be so bold A blessing fulfill the prophecy The scriptures have foretold He must have the scriptures line by line And investigate what he can find Every scroll of ancient history I'll solve this mystery, you'll see Take a look inside of God's holy word So Sherlock knows that Harry's, Harry's not, not gonna, gonna like, like this. Excuse me, miss. Lower your voice. Excuse me, miss. No, lower. I mean quieter. This is a library. I'm Sherlock Watson, and I have a huge case. A huge case of what? The measles? The flu? As though as you're speaking, I wish it was laryngitis. No, I mean I'm on. A case. F B I. F B I. Shh. Now you're shushing me. I'm on a case for the big guy. The big guy? You know, the main most man in town, the sassy sovereign. Who? Harry. Oh, right, right, right. So, what can I do for his royal craziness? I'm here investigating the birth of a child born here in Bethlehem. Which one? There are a lot of children here born in Bethlehem. Yes, but this one was supposed to be the king of the Jews. Oh, yeah. I remember that. There was an article of the Bethlehem Star a couple of years ago about that. Why don't we sit over the computer lab and search for it? All right. Now you're talking. Shh. Lower. 
Okay. Okay, here's the article. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Wow, can you send me this article? Of course. Do you want me to email and fax it to? <laughs> Just the fax, ma'am. <laughs> hey, how did the shepherds find out about this baby? Elementary, my dear Watson. Shocked and we were shaken from head to toe. What we were seeing, folks, we did not know. The angels said, You're not to our delight. Unforgettable and dreadful, not so sad at night. Then the angels had good news for us to hear. We listened to the message loud and clear. They came to us. We all wondered why. Unforgettable, incredible, not so sudden. It was fabulous, unbelievable, it was marvelous, inconceivable, so spectacular. The star that filled the sky with light. Unforgettable, incredible, not so sudden. The Savior has been born. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Shepherds, but not to me. Because they didn't want to get shit. Oh, right, over. Right. I'm out of here. I got sheep to take. Angels, did this article say something about angels? New Google search. And the angels of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angels said to them, I've got exactly one sundial revolution to get all these facts about this baby and see why those wise men didn't return to Herod. Oh, uh, we know. You do? Then tell me. It was so exciting. We finally got our orders to break through the sky. It's good news. I could change the lot.
that I'm no FBI agent. But it's quite clear that Mr. Sherlock Watson is starting to perspire a bit. Do you think right about now he's wondering? I never wonder! Then what are you doing? I'm pondering. Pondering what? Why, Why did, did I, I ever take, take this case? Scary it! I know, I know! Shh. Lower! Ooh, someone's getting. I mean, someone's getting a little testy, don't you think? Let's listen as Sherlock goes over his evidence. My background check proves that the baby has the royal bloodline of the King of the Jews. Check! And that the shepherds were actual eyewitnesses of the child's birth in Bethlehem. Check! And the angels confirmed that the little baby boy was sent from heaven's throne and was indeed the savior of the world! Check. Oh boy, Herod's not gonna like this. I am in trouble. Poor Sherlock, you can just tell those nerves are getting frazzled. He knows that the good news of this baby's birth was going to be bad news for Herod to hear. He thinks... No! He knows... It's time to find those kings! Why don't you just Google wise men? <laughs> Nothing. It just showed a song. Look at the words! The words, of course. Glad I thought of it. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts we travel so far. Hey, I wonder what gifts they brought the baby. Gold. Frankincense. Myrrh. Really? Sure doesn't sound like gifts for a baby. Well, for this baby, these are the perfect gifts. For a baby who was born the king of kings. Well, why didn't you three return and tell Herod where he was? You think we would tell Herod where he was? Really? Are you asking for real? Yes, for real. If you three had returned like you said you would, I wouldn't be in this awful position. Herod wants to worship the baby. He said so. Well, he wasn't the worshipy type, if you know what I mean. Clearly he wasn't. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we can all agree that these are three very wise men. And even today, we would all be wise to follow their example.
Is it hot in here or is it just me? My heart's pounding out of my chest. My pulse is racing and I'm feeling very dizzy. Shh. Now calm down. I know you're under a lot of pressure, Sherlock. But I think I know someone we should talk to. Yeah. Who? Dr. Phil. Nancy Grace. No, silly. It's my cousin, Vinny. You see, he and his wife went a little in on the opposite side of town. And, well, it's the inn where the baby was born. Well, I'm not sure they're in, but they're stable. What? Why didn't you tell me this before? Well, it's because all my cousin Vinny ever says is, if I knew then, but I know now. And I really never understood it until, well, now. Seeing all the evidence you've gone through, it made sense. Wait a minute. Don't jump to conclusions. How do I get in touch with this Vinny? Time is running out, and his royal meanness is probably blowing a stack right now, and I'm going to be toast. So you'll notice, then, that Sherlock and the librarian have become partners in crime solving. Their next search will be for Cousin Vinny, the innkeeper, and his wife. <laughs> Their story will touch Sherlock in a personal way.
question is, will the miracle of heaven be born in Sherlock tonight? Hey Sherlock, what you gotta do? Hey Sherlock, what's your next move? Now that you searched and learned what is true, has there been a change in you? He's studied the prophecies in the Holy Scriptures. He's reviewed the first-hand stories of the shepherds and the innkeeper. The angel's announcement amazed him, and he marveled at the wisdom of the wise men. Now it was time for him to make a choice. What would he do?
I trust that your hearts have been touched by the wonderful message of Christmas. And as you know, there are some people that are working hard to make things like this happen. And we have two tremendous leaders that have been leading this event, and we appreciate them so very much. Angie Kachera and Sherry Smith, would you stand in the front to express appreciation to them? And then it takes a whole team of people from all of the sets to all of the people that are doing the tech and the lights and the dramas and all the things that take place. Would you join me in expressing appreciation to all of them? And then kids, you were tremendous. We are so proud of you. And, uh, We just love you, and it's our prayer that the songs you have learned and the message you've heard will be a part of your lives as you grow in the things of Christ. That's our heart for our kids and for all of us. And we just want to say, as we prepare to close our time, that it is our deepest prayer that each one of you have decided to follow Jesus and that you know you have received him in your heart and your life. Hey Sherlock, what you gonna do? Hey Sherlock, what's your next move? Now that you searched and learned what is true, has there been 
Oh, man. 